G'day guys, this is Booze Review, the show where we review the booze. Now, um, as you can see, it's a different location for me. Uh, this will temporarily be the new location for the next video or two, depending on how long I'm here for. But yeah, while I'm here, I thought I might as well um, do some beer reviews, you know, as I usually do when I'm, you know, I'm back home. But yeah, I've got a bit of a special one today. I'll continue in the last video, which was the European import. I have another European import beer, which is kind of scary. <laughs> OJ Premium Strong Beer from Belgium, and it is 8.5% alcohol by volume. This is going to be the strongest beer I would have ever have tried. Um, I have never tried anything this strong before. As I said, strong lager beer from Belgium, of all places. Now, um, yeah, I have never even seen this before, to be honest. Never seen it, never heard of it. Um, and I happened to just see it in the bottle shop today, and I thought, you know what, that looks interesting. <laughs> it was pretty cheap too, 24 bucks for a four pack, uh, which I assume that this is a 500 mil can. Yes, it is. Pretty good value, six bucks a can, mate. Not bad for a beer that strong, considering that we get taxed here up the arse, really. Uh, we get taxed based on alcohol percentage, so. As I said, it's pretty cheap for what it is. But yeah, as you can see, the can design, pretty uh, pretty basic, pretty straight to the point. As you can see here, 8.5% alcohol by volume. It, it tells you that, you know. Um, it knows what it is and it's not afraid to say so. But yeah, anyway, I've got a nice new glass here, Fiji Bitter Beer mug. And yeah, I thought I might as well review this using this so yeah anyway i'm gonna stop the bullshit and crack this bad boy open sorry about the uh noise of the cicadas i can't really do anything about that but yeah let's give it a little sniff shall we Ooh, just smells like a regular lager beer actually it doesn't really smell any different from the um hollandia which i did yesterday which is literally like half the strength of this just about so yeah very interesting kind of just smells like a regular lager to be honest and um yeah, it looks like a regular lager so far. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, yeah, it's got a nice golden colour, I will say. Yeah, look at that. Hmm, a nice um, amber colour, I will say. Very deep, rich um, amber. Not much carbonation. It's definitely on the low end when it comes to carbonation. Um, but yeah, it looks quite standard to be honest. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, looks quite appetising. I will say, um, it looks nice. I was kind of expecting it to look a bit scary, either you know, um, very dark coloured or whatever. But no, it doesn't. It looks like a regular lager, which is interesting. Um, the head, not much head there. I try to pour it a bit more aggressively towards the end didn't really work but it's got about maybe half a centimeter of head there about five mils maybe which isn't much but I think if you poured it it would be um, a bit better so anyway I'm gonna stop talking and uh, give this a try 8.5 percent better hmm 8.5 percent I'm terrified but anyway cheers Mmm, actually, it's not too bad. You can immediately taste the alcohol, but it's not, it's not, it's not unbearable. It's not, um, so bad that it kind of makes you wince when you drink it. It's not too bad, actually. Um, nice hit of malts there. Um, quite a bit of sweetness, actually. It kind of reminds me of a, um, a malt liquor, actually. Um, kind of that style, that song, strong lager style um there is a lot of sweetness there not a whole lot of bitterness but there is some um so it does it is somewhat balanced as it should be but i'm going to take another swig mm. Mm. yeah i mean you can definitely taste the alcohol but it is masked relatively well 8.5 percent is no joke this is easily the strongest beer I've ever had. Um, prior to drinking this, the strongest, second strongest beer I ever had was like a 7.5% craft beer that tasted like fucking piss. And it was horrible. <laughs> but unlike that, this is stronger and it actually tastes um, not too bad actually. I assume that it is meant to be drunk uh, as cold as possible. 
Um, because if this got any sort of warmth to it, I imagine it would be terrifying and it would taste horrible. But yeah, um, overall, mate, it is not bad for what it is. Um, I, I'm kind of enjoying it. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. For what it is, mate, it's, it's quite strong tasting. It's definitely full flavoured at 8.5%. But it's also quite cheap too, which I was um, certainly surprised for a European European import. But yeah, it's not bad. Um, pretty good overall. Um, you know what? Overall, I'd have to give this, mate. I'd have to give it maybe a, a shit for what it is, a seven and a half. No, maybe a seven. Probably not a seven and a half. I'll give it a seven out of ten. It's strong. It's malty. It's sweet. It's no bullshit. It's straight to the point, it's a strong lager, possibly a malt liquor, I'm not sure um, what the style here is. But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, there's not too much alcohol by it um, when it's cold, it's pretty good overall, it's definitely drinkable. Um, I imagine after I finish this can, I'm definitely going to be feeling it on an empty stomach. But yeah, um, overall, very interesting. I'm glad I bought it, I'm glad I'm reviewing it. So yeah, I'm going to take um, a final swig and yeah, we'll uh, end the video. Cheers. Hmm, not too bad. As I said, 7.5 out of 10. For what it is, it's no bullshit, get straight to the point. And, um, I don't mind it, not too bad. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, and, um, I'll see you next time. Cheers.